hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video so i'm using ios 18.1 public beta 4 for almost five days now and in today's video i'm going to talk about last five days that how the version is going on now one thing important it gives me the best ever geekbench score so definitely watch this video till the end to get to know about the geekbench score so in this video i will talk about the battery life geekbench score and some other stuff like release date and more well without any further delay let's get jump into this video and let's talk about the battery life so going into the settings over here going into the battery over here let the battery stats load now over here going to the last 10 days over here these are the last 10 days and these are the um battery performance of ios 18.1 public beta 5 so if i go over this day as you can see i used 100 percent of my battery life over here according to this graph and i got screen on time of nine hours and one minute this is insane now i used netflix for a while like one hour netflix almost two hours of youtube then whatsapp a lot threads a lot i mean like this home and lock screen is definitely the widgets that are on my screen then pocket cost a lot so i used a lot of applications and for a long while this time and i think this is the best time i get and i'm really happy with the battery life of the ios 18.1 public beta 4. if i go to this day over here where i used my phone for around 75 percent as you can see no this is again 100 percent okay this is again 100 percent and this time it is eight hours of screen on time now one of netflix then one hour of youtube one hour of uh, whatsapp then some other application pocket cost again one hour and again it's a decent time i know it's a one hour less than before but still it's a really decent time over here as you can see i used my phone for more than 100 percent like it is like 110 percent maybe and eight hours 32 minutes because i used media applications a lot i was quite active on instagram instagram consumes a lot of battery because i am always you know watching reels straight two hours of watching reels i mean two hours and 20 minutes which is insane so yeah it is a really good battery life believe me or not and also whatsapp also gives you a bit of a battery life so two hours of whatsapp and again some other application that list is quite long so if i conclude the battery life i have i was 18.1 public beta 4 from last five days i can say battery life is really good it's a big thumbs up from my side regarding battery life so as i said it gives me the highest geekman score ever so now i want to go to a geekman score to show you that so over here in the geekbench i will also show you gpu benchmarks so you can have idea about that too but before that i want to talk about the cpu benchmark over here so going to the cpu history over here now this is the latest benchmark 2324 on a single core while 5716 on a multi-core if i go to if i compare single core the it is better than the average as you can see and if i compare with a multi-core it is also way better in fact this is the highest multi-core score i ever get on ios 80 as you can see there is not a single figure of 5700 before this one 56 56 was one score 56 55 was quite high 56 67 was really high but i never got 5700 plus score so yeah 18.1 public beta 4 slash developer beta um, 7 is insane it is really really good very much improved in terms of performance and in the usage i have done uh, any sort of issue i mentioned some of the bugs that i was facing in the developer beta 5 but those bugs are gone i'm not facing any sort of bugs at all in the gpu benchmark over here gpu history over here i got 21053 of score again it is way better than the average one as you can see it is slightly lower than a couple of days ago it was 21134 but it is again of 18.1 public beta 4 so no issue at all so yes yeah, scores are really good and definitely they are also reflecting the performance because i don't have any sort of issue at all everything is working really good i am really enjoying the performance so in the terms of performance 
this is the best update for now i'm running ios 18.1 public beta 4 slash developer beta 7 and the upcoming updates are going to be ios 18.1 rc update i talk about all the features that are coming in the rc update in some of my videos you can go and check out those videos but we can expect to see rc on 21st or 27 22nd of october and when it comes to the public release of 18.1 it is going to be on 28th october well this is all from this video what are your thoughts what ios version you are using and how the performance is going for you let me know in the comment section below and i will see you my guys in the next video until that take care peace out